you're talking about. And there are other players on this roster. This is the first time they've witnessed this. Texas won the toss. They will defer. So we will see Landry Jones and the OU offense off the top of this game. Trey Franks, who is back after a two game suspension for violating team rules, is the deep man here for the Sooners. Justin Tucker will kick it away, and we are underway in Dallas. From the five yard line, Franks picks his way out to the 29 yard line. And here now comes Landry Jones on the season. He will open as the tailback. Lockton, Oklahoma, the walk on. Jones is going to throw one on one. Got Doyle sitting down at the 40 yard line in a foot race. And here's the matchup. Those two great wide receivers against the Texas corners. Use here this afternoon against the Horns. Back in the pistol now is Jones. Motions is back out. Got a flare to him. Here comes Whaley. Got the flat angle. Wrestled out of bounds at the 24 yard line. On third and three, Jones fires for a first down. Miller out of the backfield to the 10 yard line. There he is using his fullback H back for the first side of that formation to the right. Landry Jones looking still, still one on one and incomplete out of bounds. Field goal time coming up here for OU. Really good coverage there by the soft. Cut. Richard, freshman from Richardson, Texas. This is a 26 yarder for Honeycutt. Curls it right through beautifully. This is Whitaker. Sprinting, turning up field. Whitaker down the sideline for another Texas first down. All the way to the 40. Goes empty in the backfield. Shipley's off to his left. And McCoy is smacked down at the 34 yard line. Big Casey Walker. Now Wade moves over to the left for Jones. Going to throw to him for the first down. So Jones showing his experience when he moved Whaley over to the left side. Now they've got a third down. Stills will motion to the right. Looks in that direction. On the run, fires incomplete, and that's because he was under pressure. And that was Keiston Randall, big number nine. Perfect on the day. And he has put OU up by two field goals. Formations haven't shown this all year. There's the screen pass to Whitaker to daylight to the 45 yard line. Brand new play. Tights, one tight, and an H back actually in motion. This is a power running formation and Whitaker. And it is Whitaker breaking free. Whitaker to the 34. Shipley is to the left. Deflected. Incomplete. Didn't get the ball up high enough and it was deflected at the U field goal. On its way. Looks long enough. Slips it across and cuts the lead in half. For it. Since then, the adjustment by Manny Diaz is he's tightening that cushion up and taking it away. Going to put it up again. Come underneath for the first down. He's got it. Midfield and out of bounds is Jazz Reynolds. So the wall still should consider the tight end. Here they go again. Play action rolling right underneath. Whaley is a receiver. First down to the 31 yard line. From Texas's defense. On the right side of the Texas defense with its hands full now. And Jones comes back the other way. Got the first down at the 20 yard line. Hannah, this defense. Here comes your second down and eight as we start the second quarter. Pump fake. Going in zone, got a man wide open, touchdown. Same play, basically, that they beat Florida State with. Pump fake on the screen pass and go to the end zone. Kenny Stills, he... And here is Honeycutt. And the one thing you may have noticed about Stills, he had on third down and eight. 
And Ash from the gun going deep middle. Intercepted. Picked off by Jefferson, who had three interceptions a week ago. Jefferson thrown down. I do not see a penalty flag. I thought there was contact. Fires right side. Caught. Jazz Reynolds again. He has made his catches. He was dominated. <laughs> On third down, Jones fires right at the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, the line judge says. That's Broyles. Broyles sits down at the goal line. And on third down, just an Oklahoma unbelievable career. So the question today is, and we'll have the answer after our break, which one of the... Here they come. End around. And tripped up at the 22-yard line. Aaron Colvin rolled in and Anya Boulay. Miles, offensive coordinator at Boise State in that famous Fiesta Bowl. Stoops will take all the great defensive plays he can get against Harson's offense. Looking for another interception incomplete. Underthrown that time. But you go back to... Here comes Whaley. Cut back to the right to the 30-yard line. They kind of have it banned. There aren't any safeties behind the coverage. Nobody in the back in the middle. Now they move back a couple safeties. Now they get a little softer in coverage. Jones will go look for one on one, incomplete, and he had Stills breaking three, facing a tough third down. And here comes the heat, and he runs away from it and throws. He was close to the scrimmage mission. Play action steps away from the defense, fires on the run, intercepted in zone ahead. This is going to be a sooner touchdown. Hurst, Devontae Hurst. So here is. Michael Honeycutt tags on another extra point. No. No, not. This time it's going to be Whitaker bringing it out. Hole in the middle, explodes, breaks free, and 50, 30. The Horns with a huge 100-yard touchdown return by Fozzie Whitaker. All the barbecue you want, young man. The extra point is good. And they did that time, but he drops it off on the juggle as Reynolds again. And Reynolds has another, puts it down near midfield, regains it. And that's a... That time they brought a blitz and nearly got to Jones. He just got the ball off. Quick snap now to Jones. Got the middle, fires Broyles, shakes off a tackle, and he's across the 15-yard line to the 14. That time, Ryan Broyles. Blake Gideon, perfect throw. After the 36-yard gain, fires in zone, stills, pulls it down, touchdown, Oklahoma. Boy, that's his spot, isn't it? You get him on that left sideline, one-on-one, and let Kenny Stills from California. Tax on another extra point. 34. McCoy. And complete down the sideline. Mike Davis. McCoy. From the 40. Complete. Call it. Call it. Mike Davis, the receiver that time. They're both in the game on this third down. Oklahoma touchdown. 
David King, backup defensive end, a junior from Houston, rolls in with the fourth Longhorn turnover of the game. Michael Honeycutt tacks on the extra point. Whitaker and Monroe. And Whitaker in the Wildcat. Here comes the throw off the end around and ready for it. Shipley goes down. Play was successful early. First down and 10. There's Whaley trying to stretch it out for another huge gain. Headed for the end zone. Whaley, touchdown, Oklahoma, 64 yards. And folks, Bebo can't stand to watch it anymore. He has flat turned his back on the horns and says, that's enough of that stuff. Holy Toledo. Now, Nickut has a strong leg. Acker with his extra point. You got uh, to figure it figured out, huh? Watch our guy David Ash here. There's a handoff and a battle for the first down. So there is the there's the first down for Cody Johnson. This is a uh, 48-10, and he wants to keep playing. Good run here now. This is a young man we want to talk about, Malcolm Brown. Uh, declaring for Austin so not only these two teams battle here in October they battle for recruits all season long nice throw to Shipley what a beautiful pass that's Ash's best here's Ash in trouble taken down at the 34 by Tony Jefferson at third down and forever after that 15 yard loss and by the way Jaden Bird has moved in at linebacker Replace work. Ash going down. Fumble puts it down again. Fuzzy Whitaker bounces on it at the 45 after Ronell Lewis punched it away. Who's going to pick him up? They both missed it. Firing complete. First down at the 44 yard line and broil. Who knows where that is? Jones throws for incomplete Texas football. Broyles the target that time. It appeared to be a leg injury either, too. Three man rush now. Ash throws in underneath. Davis stripped. Here they go. Fleming into the end zone. Boomer Sooner in Dallas today. That's 56 yard defensive touchdown. The fifth turnover of the game for home. For you, Alabama defense. <laughs> They're saying, Herbie, what are you going to look at this? <laughs> Here's third down for McCoy. Slips free on the move and finds Shipley. On a scramble play, Shipley to the 40. And it's a throws in underneath, and that's Davis. Mark Davis for the first down. Fires incomplete. Oklahoma football. That's going to bring the curtain down on Landry Jones. Drew out. Yeah, indeed. Allen throws it deep and incomplete, and so that and that is just a shame for football fans here in Texas. But TCU is going to step into that void for the Longhorns, and then we'll just go on. There is Shipley out of bounds as he steps. And Tony Jefferson, that front seven's nasty. Fourth down. Here comes Ash trying to keep this alive. On the move, Davis, first down. So maybe the horn offense, and there's the penalty. Nash is going to throw on first down, wide open Shipley, touchdown Texas. Their first offensive score of the game. They had a kickoff return for a touchdown. For a touchdown. So Tucker adds the extra point, and now get ready for the on. 
First down and 10 for the backup quarterback, Drew Allen. Mop up time. And this is Williams, the freshman fumble, and Texas has got it. Texas can punch in another touchdown after Brandon Williams puts it on the deck. See what happens when true freshman. <laughs> Here we go now. Fourth down and five. Ash in trouble. Oklahoma will run the clock out and go home with a fifth pass. Josh Heupel as a play caller for Oklahoma. He's been doing an excellent job this year. Absolutely. He and Jay Norvell, co-offensive coordinators, but you're right. Heupel's calling the plays for Kevin Wilson. And he's not, they've not skipped a beat with the way they're playing. So Oklahoma, definitely one of our contenders to go to New Orleans in the championship game. They win it 55-17. Bob Stoops.